Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, this is me Mods and in today's video we will be going over on how you can download large uh, PKG files uh, on your PS3 with monoguns. The PS3 recognizes FAT32 uh, USB drives but uh, FAT32 has a 4 gigabyte limit on it. Basically PKG files bigger than 4 gigabytes cannot be copied over to your USB drive. So to bypass this, um, we use monoguns. So the first thing that you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to open your browser and the link to this GitHub repository will be given in the description box below. Uh, and then what you're gonna do here is you're gonna click on releases right here. And then this is what we want. We're going to click on this nightly release and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to download monoguns version 1.4 to this one we're going to be downloading this right here as you guys can see it's being downloaded like so there we go it's downloaded so once it's uh, downloaded what we're going to do is we're going to plug in a USB drive before we move on this USB drive is going to be formatted, is going to be a FAT32 formatted USB drive because uh, this isn't really a huge file um, and we will be using a FAT32 drive for this so we could download monogons and then after that we're going to use our NTFS or XFAT USB and transfer our game on it. Okay, so we have monogons downloaded right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up file manager over here. And this is my current USB plugged in. This is a FAT32 USB, as you guys can see here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and drag and drop it over to our, the root of our USB, like so. And then we're going to eject it. And we're going to move on over to the PlayStation and download Monoguns. Alright, so we're back on the PS3. So now we're going to plug in the FAT32 USB and download Monoguns. So if you are on custom firmware, then you can just go on ahead and go to Package Manager. But if you are on HEN, you have to enable HEN and then you're going to have to access Package Manager after you have enabled HEN. So now we're going to go on over to Package Manager, go to Install Package Files, go to Standard, and there we go. You're going to press X and download monogams. This is going to take two seconds, pretty much. It's a very small package file, so it won't take that long. All right, so there we go. This is monogams. And now we're going to go back on our PC and figure out the other NTFS USB. So after we uh, have downloaded monogams on our PS3, now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our other USB which is going to be either, uh, XFAT or NTFS formatted like this USB right here if you go on over to the properties this is an NTFS file system USB it doesn't really matter if you use NTFS or XFAT both are fine there's no correct or incorrect option both are uh, recognized by monograms so what we're going to do here is we're going to make a folder named packages. I already have this Batman Arkham Asylum package file already transferred and copied. So this is where our games are going to go. And then we're going to make another folder right here. And we're going to name it as xdata. xdata right here. And this is where our wrap file is going to go. This is the associated wrap file that came with this package file. So we're going to transfer this over here, over to the xdata folder. This tutorial also covers how you can license your games as well. So if you can see here, this is the associated wrap file that came with the package file. This basically uh, helps in licensing the game and it allows it to run. All right, so now that we have all of that done, we can move on over to the PlayStation. 
All right, now we're back on the PlayStation after we've done figuring out the uh, XFAT NTFS USB. Okay, before we move on, you don't really worry about uh, the USB uh, not showing up here because it's not recognized. So we're going to go on over to Monoguns. All right, so now we are on Monoguns. Monoguns has loaded up. So now what we're going to do is press on the select button right here. And there we go. This is the operating system. Now we're going to go on over to NTFS 0, this here, which is basically the USB device uh, which you've plugged in. If you're using uh, an XFAT USB, it's going to show up as XFAT. So now we're going to click on it. And there we go. We're going to. So this is where the wrap file is, and this is where our actual game is. So what we're going to do is go on over to XData click on xdata and this is the wrap file so we're going to press select which will highlight it and press triangle now we're going you can either choose cut or copy i prefer cut a uh, copy so we're going to click on these two buttons here then we're going to go on over to dev hdd0 which is the playstation internal hard drive then we're going to go on xdata and we're going to press on triangle and then click on paste there we go there is our wrap file that we just downloaded now we're going to go back go back to the USB drive we're going to click on packages and this is our package file as you can see it is a 6.59 gigabyte file we're going to select this and then press triangle we're going to copy and then we're going to go back and then we're going to go over to HDD0 and then we're going to go to um, packages and we will paste it over here okay this will take a little bit of time so we'll get back when it's done downloading alright so now that we're done copying over the files we could exit uh, monogans so you can go close go back and you can just do exit press circle okay now that we're back on the XMB what we're going to do is we're going to go on over to package manager go to install and then instead of going to standard we're going to go on PS3 system storage so we're going to press on PS3 system storage and there we go this is the package file now we're just going to press on X and download the game this will take some time okay so now that our game is downloaded if you refresh there we go there's the game now to test it There we go, the game works. So it's uh, licensed properly and you can now play the game. There we go. All right, everybody, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and possibly learned a few things. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and follow for more. This is Mods signing off.